What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Officially in New Mexico today. Starting to fuel up. So this is the cheapest price I've found here in New Mexico. It looks like it's starting to go back up. Uh, the the fill-up before this we paid $2.29 again. So that was really nice. But I have a feeling from here on up it's going to start going up in price. We're literally in like the middle of nowhere right now. It's all industrial. I don't know where we are. But we're going to get fueling up here. And then we're going to make our way, um, I think we're going to stay at Cracker Barrel tonight, but we have a, it's a harvest hose, but it's a campground. For 20 bucks, they'll let you hook up, you can dump, fill your fresh water, and stuff like that. Otherwise, if you're not a harvest hose member, full price is 40 bucks. So, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, Alright guys, officially parked it for the night. We did a lot of driving today. Uh, started out in Texas, and we are pretty deep into New Mexico now. But we made it. We went over some gnarly gnarly mountains i mean the rv did not like it uh, especially when that air thins out we were up to i think 5418 feet in elevation so you know the air thins out and it's it's not great for gas motors especially if you don't have like a turbocharger or something but uh we went through it we you know we're going up the hills at 40 miles an hour but we made it anyway this headlight is shorting out again i'm just i'm over it i'm not gonna I, I can't every other day I can't stop and pull the whole headlight assembly out and squeeze it together I wrapped electrical tape around the connection to try to hold it together I, I don't know what the deal is with it it must have some kind of issue this one is doing great haven't had any issues this one just keeps going out so tomorrow in the morning because I'm just way too tired to do it now I'm gonna pop both halogen bulbs back in I already sent a message to um, the manager uh, the marketing manager I think he is over at this uh, headlight company's, you know, because they sponsored this, our YouTube channel with these headlights, and they're just, I don't know, hopefully they can send us out a new set. If not, you know, I'm just going to throw these out and put them, uh, put the halogens back in until I can get a, a good set of LED headlights, because I like how bright they are. It's really nice that they're that bright, especially out here in the West Coast, because going through those mountains and stuff, it gets super dark, but I can't deal with that every day going in and out and having to putz around with that. It's super annoying. Good morning, guys. It's, uh, I don't know, it's like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, what, this whole time thing is really screwing me up, so I'm, I'm waking like up. It's 8 o'clock East Coast. So. Right, so I'm waking up super early, you know, here. Thinking that it's late already. Yeah, super windy outside. And I, and I knew it was going to be windy today. The goal was to try to wake up and get where we have to be before it gets windy. It said on the weather app, which... I'm just gonna give up on the Weather Channel app because it's a joke. <laughs> but they said that the winds weren't gonna go over 10 miles an hour till 10 o'clock. So I figure, I figured if we leave here by 6:37, you know, it's like about a three-hour ride to this. Um, it's a harvest house, but it's a campground, and uh, harvest house members get 50% off, so it'd only be 20 bucks for the night. And you get full hookups and water, and you can dump your tanks, and that's great because that's gonna be our last stop before we hit um, quartzite. So we'd be empty on tanks and full on water, which would be nice. But where we're going in quartzite, they have a dump station and water, but I wanna be able to just be good to go and get to our spot, then having a stop and fill up. Right. Uh, however, those plans look like they have changed quite a bit. Yeah. It, it, I, I just, okay, so I went outside earlier uh, to change out both headlight bulbs back to the halogens because I'm having an issue with these. And I think I found what the issue really is. So the stock headlights, the OEM headlights that come on this RV are halogen bulbs. And when you connect them to the original connection on this RV, it clicks into place. These are not clicking. No matter how tight I squeeze the two connections together, they just don't click and that's why it's it's not getting a tight you know fitment and it's it's shorting out i guess you could say so um these are the right size connections h13 is our connection size so it just must be i don't know maybe a build error or something on the length of this plug or something i don't i don't know it's something i could think of but i looked at the connections in here you guys probably can't see it too well but everything looks clean on both ends on my rv's end and on this end so it's got to be a length issue or something like that uh i'm gonna try these in the car because the car uses h13 too i'm gonna see if it'll click in you know at least i'll be able to get to use these i did get in touch with um the manager who takes care of us and, and sent us out these originally. And he I told always him. responds really quick. He has great customer service. Yeah. Yeah, he, he responded back in like 30 minutes. So I reached out to him. He's going to send us out another set. 
He also wanted me to make a video showing uh, him and his technical people over there what is going on. And I, you know, I already made that video separate, but that's that's definitely what's going on. It's just not clicking in right. So I don't know. Anyway, we're back to halogen bulbs. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm a little afraid to roll out, guys. It's I don't super. Think we're gonna... It's super windy outside. It's uh. I don't know. Here, let me see. I'm just gonna kill this because I'm not. We're not driving. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very very windy outside. And uh, we would be, we would be getting one would be getting thrown all over the place, and two I'd we'd be burning more gas than yeah. you know than anything trying to keep up. Plus I got these solar panels on the roof. I'm not trying to play you know any games with them. I don't need them ripping off or whatever. And we're in oh. high elevation, so well we go into high elevation. I don't want it. But with it being this windy and then being high in elevation, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. That's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hang out here for a bit, guys. I'm gonna, Sam's gonna make me breakfast. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We just got back from Walmart. Spent way more money than normal. I think New Mexico is expensive to shop in, even at Walmart. But uh, we got enough to hold us over for courtside for a while. So um, the weather died down a lot. It uh, it rained for a little bit, but the wind really slowed down. I'd, I'd say it's probably five miles an hour or less. So. I'm going to take the opportunity and try to get on the road and get to this um, campground for today. We'll see how it goes. If it gets bad again, we'll just have to pull over. But if anything, we'll just check in tomorrow like was originally planned. Right. So we'll see you guys hopefully when we get to the campground. All right, guys, we made it. Officially parked at this Harvest Host slash campground that we're going to be staying at for the night. One of the most quirky, different kind of campgrounds I've ever stayed at. Look at that cactus. Holy crap. It's so weird seeing these You see these things on TV and in videos, and you see them in person, and you're like... I love it here. I like it. So apparently they bought these uh, old school trailers, and they're going to rehab them. And then you're going to be able to, uh, I guess, rent them, you know, and you can stay in them. Mm -hmm. So that'll be pretty cool. It's like an old school... It's we're not able, an Airstream. We're able to view one of them, not the Airstream. I'll show you guys. They also have chickens here. Are they in there now? They give you free eggs every morning, but it's cold out, so they don't. No chickens? No. Okay. So, during the warmer weather, they, they have chickens that free roam around here. Uh, and you can just take some of the eggs. They give them away for free. And you'll see them. They just hang around the property and walk around. It's pretty cool. Do you see them? No, they're not over there. They're probably walking around somewhere. But this is the other one they're gonna rehab. Check this thing out. Look at the, the ceiling on this thing. It's crazy. It's not open, is it? Oh, it is open. Kind of, sort of. I don't know if we're. Oh, she said that. Yeah. Oh. I just poke my head in. Oh. I think that one's gonna need a lot of work, guys. I don't know if you can see in there, but the whole roof is totally falling in. That one's going to need some serious love. Let me get out of here. Oh, God. Okay. This is one of the other buses that they're... They rehabbed this one already. No, they kept it. Everything is... is um, oh, everything's thing. original now? Yep. Oh, okay, but it's built out. Oh, there's one of the chickens. The Zeppelin, a 1957 GMC tour bus. Very cool. And inside is all built out. They got a, a bed in the back and everything. We can go in this one? Yeah. All right. If the door will open. Oh, my God. We're not responsible. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Damn. Oh, wow. Talk about vintage throwback. This is cool. Uh, this isn't exactly my idea of done. No, she, they didn't do it. She just said they decided to just keep it the way it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All righty. I mean, plus they got they have the other two they still have to do, so it's probably too much of a project. Oh, this one needs... Wow, look at this fridge. Quite a bit of work. Wow, look at that retro fridge. That is awesome. I always wanted one of these. If I ever get a homestead... Oh, there's poop in there. <laughs> All right, so for that's the low... Poop, that's paper. So for the low, low prices... <laughs> I don't know how the hell much you could stay in here. This is so cute. Uh, and the cabinets don't open. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you know the cabinets don't open? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? This, this is, is so stove. Cool. This is so cool. 
cool. This part back here is neat. This is so cool. This is awesome. I would totally chill back here. Get a TV up on the wall somewhere. <laughs> is that you twerking? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we need some new glass. All right, well, I don't cool. I don't know if I'm going to stay in this, but it's cool to see. You know, you can kind of get an idea of how it was back in the day. I don't think they would have anybody staying uh, in this. The seating capacity in this bathroom is apparently one. <laughs> I don't know if there's a light, but there's a shower. Oh, man, you guys can't see nothing, probably. Let me see. Oh, yeah, now you can see. So there's a shower. And it uh, looks like it's used as a coat rack, too. And you got your little, wow, that toilet is on the floor. <laughs> like, literally. Let me see. See how far I have to squat. Oh, God, you might not be able to get back up. I'm not going to sit because I don't know the integrity. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can feel, you can feel it in your knees. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it in Look my lungs. That. Is that for, like, if you want to make, like, um, iced tea or something? I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Good thing nothing came out. It's I, empty. That would have been kind of gross if anything did come out. <laughs> I just noticed this too. It's a manual transmission, which you will never see in today's world, um, as far as a bus goes. And uh, it has originally it has the original ten thousand miles on the motor. I don't know if oh you, wow! Oh, Look there's at this. the odometer. I just noticed this. This thing is crazy. This is pretty. Oh. Ow! Right here. Look Not at Not a this. lot of room for fat people in here. I tell you that much. Chair comes down for you to sit next to the driver. That's oh yeah, cool. an extra seat. Good. Yeah. No seatbelt, so uh, when Sam lops the brakes up, I could just you know easily go right through the windshield. <laughs> I don't know if this is theirs, but this thing is cool as hell. I like how when you come out west, like you see so much more retro and vintage yeah. stuff, whereas on the east coast you just don't see that. Yeah. The commander. I think, wow, look at that truck camper. That's crazy. Man, that truck camper is cool. Is there somebody in it? I'm about to knock on it. Like, you go to campgrounds on the East Coast, you never see stuff like this on the walls and these old school campers. And, oh, it's just so different, guys. It's like a whole whole nother world out here and over here i think it was a little warmer out i'd sit out here oh my god sam this fire pit that is cool man oh and it's a grill the cool little area someone did a nice little mural over here very cool this is really cool and then you can just i'm gonna set sam up here and then i'm gonna drive away i'm gonna leave her here <laughs> Look at all the signs. I think we're living in the wrong coast. Mm. <laughs> so this is also a motel. So if you don't have your own place, your own RV, you can stay here and enjoy it. And uh, in one of their little fancy rooms. And they also have a pool. It's not filled right now. I mean, I'm guessing because it's winter time, it's freezing. I don't want to go too close to there because they're playing music that's copyrighted and then uh, oh, <laughs> YouTube will flag it. This thing is crazy looking. I bet you it gets good gallons per mile because look how aerodynamic it is. Damn. And right over here, this is the first ever smart car ever made. I have no idea what it is. Let me see, a CVI electric. Everybody thinks uh, Elon Musk was the first one to make electric cars. But meanwhile, electric cars have been out for years and years. A commuter vehicle. That thing is wild. I think it needs some air in the tires. So if you guys ever want to stay here, I'll put the information down below. They don't take reservations in person. Uh, they only take reservations online, but you can get to them either Hip Camp, Airbnb, or Harvest Host. I don't know if they have a website or not, but I'll put all their information down below. But this is a really nice place. It's called the El Paris Motel and RV Spaces. That's a pretty badass looking schoolie. I think it's built up. So we're over here in the bathroom, turn the light on. So this is their clubhouse area and you can use this. You can use the bathroom. You can use the showers, whatever you gotta use. I believe it's a mom and daughter that run this, and I only met the daughter, um, but she is so sweet. 
that she did, she did a really nice job. only charges you twenty dollars for the night. For the first night. For the first night, and then it's forty after that. Even I think forty is way too cheap for all the stuff that they're giving you. They're very generous. Check out the farm sink, guys. Like this is all old school. The stove, the oven. I mean, look at this stuff. That's so cool. And then over here, I wanted to show you guys, oh, wow, obviously, thing. this iconic scene, which is awesome. And Someone then, painted in front where the burger shack is. She oh, okay. painted it pink. And where's this, where's my picture? <laughs> yeah. Look at this scene, so guys. Cool. This is something straight out of, like, like I was telling Sam, the, te the TV looks older. The TV looks like it's from, like, the 50s or the 40s, like how it has that round look to it. But this scene right here with these chairs and the table and everything, it looks like a scene straight out of that 70s show. I love it. It's great. Kill a switch one. I love how they just kept everything so like original. Yeah. They did a really good job here. And over here in this room I see the I see laundry. The laundry the laundry in here guys is free. They do not charge you for laundry, which I've never heard of. You know, everywhere else charges you for laundry. I feel bad only giving her 20 bucks. Yeah, I think we're going to up it. Um, so is there a light in here? It's very dark. Oh, look at that light. All right. Yeah, so ice, laundry, uh, all free. Definitely one of the more unique campgrounds or stay that yeah I'm, i really like this place <sighs> all right so we're gonna this go made the, the horrible mountains worth it <laughs> <laughs> the mountains are rough they drank a lot of gas i'd say from we went from florida to charlotte north carolina then back down and we took 20 over and then we dropped down to i-10 um texas we gotta to Mexico be was tough i gotta say we're probably around 800 bucks in fuel so, you know, we still got a little while to go. Still got about three hours, but the RV is full right now, so we should. And we we stacked up on propane, on on board, and the yeah. small one. Yeah. Because we're gonna just use this. That way, when we get to courtside, if we do need to fill up, we can just bring this and not the RV. Right. Because I don't want to bring this as much as we don't have to. We ha we haven't been running through as much propane either because. Uh, now that we have the solar and the battery bank and everything, we just run everything on the fridge on electric. Yeah. But whereas before we used to run out on propane. So definitely a huge money saver. Good morning, guys. So it's the next day and we're ready to head out. We're going to be at Quartzsite in about three and a half, four hours, give or take, depending on how bad the mountains are and how slow we have to go. But um, I'm going to put an ending on this video. And next time you guys will see us, we'll be at Quartzsite all checked in, ready to go. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.